What's up, everybody? This is your Crypto Muscle. This is your coming to you with another YouTube video. International Round Worldwide Syndicate is where it's at. And I've been doing it for quite some time. And that is the Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you with another video. Vortec United, all right? First in this space to bring it to everybody, to the masses here. All right? And first among many, many platforms that I've brought to the masses in this space. But Vortec United, just saying, go look at it. The history shows, all right? I'm the first to bring it out there. And I'm also going to be the first to complete a full cycle as well. So just saying. All right, so let's take a look at Vortec United. This is going to be a part two to my part one of last week. It's kind of an unwritten part one, but this kind of connects to that, so I could call this a part two. But before I begin, you know, this is where you first saw it, all right? The Crypto Muscle Network and the Crypto Muscle Legacy Channel. All right, channels of opportunity, the House of CM, platforms come through here first, 99.9% .9 of the time. I'll leave it, I can't be 100%. Because then I'd be God in crypto, but I'm not. Just kidding. But uh, this, this is uh, not everything comes through me, but a great majority does. All right. And I'm not afraid to give credit where credit's due. Just saying. But there's others out there that are afraid to do that. So I'm just saying. But anyhow, this is going to be a part two to my part one last week because I'm going to show you guys. Uh, what's next over here in terms of what I'm doing with Vortec United and so without further ado the house of CM that's who I am brings it all right and with that subscribe to everything I got if you want to be able to stay on top of all this stuff that I do because if I bring it first in the space that's ahead of a lot of these guys all right that's one two I'm a purveyor of information when it comes to information sharing, information taking, you know, purveyor of history. I mean, I, I do it all. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. I put it all out there because that's who I am. Sometimes I can be polarizing or a loose cannon in crypto, and that's fine. I think people like it that way. People want it to be shoved in their face in that way to finally recognize certain things or to finally get information that they're not privy to because no one else is talking about it when something's failing or there's issues going on with certain platforms and all that. I'll find out what's happening and I'll tell you what happens. But anyhow, let's talk about Vortec United. And as always, as always, you know who we got, all right? I always bring aboard our special guest when it comes to some of these platforms, all right? And that is, let's bring on first and foremost, Margo's Dirtbag. Yeah, this dirtbag piece of shit, Mar the vacant bitch, MFR. That's who he is, all right? He don't give a shit about nobody. That's just who he is. That's his MO. He talks a good game, tries to play like he's some um, holier-than-thou uh, guy with Fridays and Saturdays off, but he's just a piece of shit, all right? So that's who you got over here. Say what's up, Marcos. Hey, Muscle. What's going on, buddy? First, I'm not your buddy. All right. Second, uh, this is fun to make fun of you on my show because you suck. All right. That's one thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that for right now. And speaking of bitches, because that's who you are. Guess who else we got on board today? Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, Dora, yeah. All right, this Yenta is relegated to doing compensation plans because that's what we do. Marcos and I, we make Dora do compensation plans because these bitches don't know jack shit about crypto. And that's why we do what we do because they got to stay in their box uh, and that's all they need to do. And if they get out of that box, man, a whole hell of a lot of ass whooping comes into play. Not from me, though, but just from 
the people in the space because these gents don't know what the no, I was almost, ooh, almost slipped there. These gents don't know what they're talking about there. All right, that's why we're just keeping the compensation plans. All right, so, of course, there's more. Wait, there's more guests. The Bacon Man, yeah. All right, wannabe CEO of Fly By Night, extraordinaire. And oh, as always, his message is, Marcos is my bitch. Make me bacon, bitch. That's right. Marcos, make him some bacon. He loves that bacon with all that extra sauce. You provide him that sauce, Marcos. All right, jizz on that. <laughs> Just saying. Woo. And, of course, lastly, we can't have anything going on without the real Queen Bee. Not that Queen D. All right. Not that Queen D. Washington. We're talking about the real Queen Bee, all right? You know, this is where... The real Queen Bee keeps it real. We don't need prayers and all that stuff. Because prayers don't do jack shit in crypto. It can't stop a failing platform. Just saying. So, anyhow. Let's get to it, alright? Man, we're at another jam-packed show. This is a part two to my part one last week. And all I gotta say is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is where it's at, the Crypto Muscle, all right? Network and Legacy, Fortech United. How does it work? Right here, he shows you how the strategies work. Order flow trading. How does he get order flow trading? Who does it? It's none other than the man, the machine. Is he a machine? Because how does he know how to trade so well? You know, because I know he has another trader and all that with him too. But how does he do it so well? You know, he must be a cyborg or something here, or maybe a half AI, because this guy handles this shit pretty well. All right, lots of wins, and uh, there's always losses, but he's always coming out on the winning end, which is a good thing. So let me present to you none other than the man, the CEO. Let me bring him on board right here. The Jolly Jensen. Yeah. Woo. Woo. The sand. All right, so Jolly Jensen is the man, and ask Doris, she loves him too. You know, she always talks about how good and happy he is, and it makes her happy and all that stuff. <laughs> and, and that door character makes me laugh. You know, what a what a bitch. Uh, about Vortex United, right? We we glossed through this stuff, but this is what we're talking about here. Anal, I love anal, and there's three ways of penetration. With this anal that they got going on here. In a form of on-chain analysis. Technical analysis. Order flow analysis. Three forms of penetration into anal. And oh yeah. It goes in deep. Alright. You roll that up together. And you know what you get. You roll all that up. You get order flow trading. Alright. That's what you get out of it. No one in this space that I know of does order flow trading. In this way, not even the legendary oracle. The legendary oracle doesn't do order flow trading. I'm with the oracle though. I like doing uh, leverage style trading. I can't do the order flow. I'm, actually, I don't know how to do the order flow. I don't know if I want to learn. But I'll leave it with Jensen to handle that right there. All right. He does all the leg work, and I'm all for that. All right. And how does he do the leg work, or how do we reward him for that? All right. So this is how we're going to reward him. We're going to get to that right now. So here, Dora, this is your part, all right? Take it away, all right? You got the PDF on you? Yeah, Muscle. Here we go, okay? And, and thank you for having me aboard today, you know, because, you know, you're always keeping me busy with all these different platforms, and I love it. Well, I mean, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind having you on as long as you don't talk too much, as long as you go off on some bullshit, and uh, I don't like that shit. That's why I got to cut you off sometimes and put you back in your place because Yentz is like you. Neat can't stray too far. They got to, you know, stay in one place and stick to the plan, all right? So what we got going on, Dora? Yeah, Muscle. As you can see here, there's in investment portfolios. There's A, B, and C. And you could go in as little as 0.6%, all right, up to 1.2% a day in A, B, and C. And the more you're in, the more 
uh, money you have in, the more, the less weeks you're in it. So I think it's a good benefit if you're in for less weeks. For example, going in with over ten thousand dollars. Look at that. You're only in for thirty-six weeks instead of forty-six weeks when you go in less. Well, yeah, you do have a point. Um, it is a risk to go in with a larger amount, but since Vortex United has proven themselves over this time, I think that's the best way to go right now is to go 10K plus because the weeks committed is less. All right, 46 weeks, that's, you're just thinking that's six weeks close to a full year, whereas 36 weeks, that's nine months. So just saying, food for thought. And also, what else, Dora? And also, there's a compounding portfolio where you can make 1.8% on work days and it's factored into it. So, you know, sometimes people say, whoa, that's a lot. 1.8% a day, that's not sustainable. But it's factored into it. It's not what you get every day. It's just, it's factored into it. That's how I tell it to them. I just emphasize that it's factored into it and that's all they need. Well, do you know what that means, though? I mean, you just say it, but do you know what it really means? Because... <laughs> Just saying it is one thing and meaning it is another, all right? Well, I don't know what it means. I just know that that's what they tell me, you know, Marcos. And, and I just tell them what I'm just told. Well, I guess that really proves how stupid you really are. So what else, Dora? And as you can see, you know, you could request a withdrawal on the weekend. And then by Monday, it gets credited to your wallet that you designate it to. And there's a 5% fee uh, in, in order that happen. And it's paid out every Monday with no issues for ever since the beginning. And that's what makes me so happy that we've had a great platform like this and there's never been any issues. So look at what they take here. There's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, there's Tether, and there's two types of th Tether. And you know what, Muscle? It was a great thing that you did to talk to Jensen about bringing in TRC20 Tether on the Tron network because, you know, that's one of the cheaper forms of when it comes to transactions and all that. And I know that a lot of people join because of that TRC20 option. Wow. I'm going to say, well, thank you for thanking me, all right? Because I have to say, I am the one that you know, take can take credit for that because originally he only had ERC-20, which is the Ethereum base. And I said, well, I said, That's, it's going to bring some people, but the gas fees are, fi are high. You need to go with the Tron network at least. And that way it's more commonly used. Cheap fees are cheaper. You're going to bring a lot more people on. So Jensen said, all right, Muscle, I got you. All right. And so, um, one thing I won't take credit for, because I'm definitely not going to take credit for it. The minimums used to be $100, and then it got lowered to 50 because uh, Dirtbag over here cried and begged, you know, to let the lower amounts come in because he probably has a bunch of people that had less than 100 bucks to, to join in. Because all he cares about is all that commissions type stuff, you know. He don't give a shit about people because if he really gave a shit about people, $100 would make more sense because we don't have to play around with the small amounts in this space, you know. And hey, sometimes it's okay to have a platform that starts with larger amounts, you know. It's, it's fine with that. That means all platforms are not made for everybody. Just saying. So career plan. Oh, here's your favorite part, Dora. Oh, man, I, must, I get so excited every time I see this. Direct commissions. You can start at investor and you can become president in direct commissions. Yay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I guess we can, right? And Oh, and this is also my favorite part. Daily residual commission. Look, you can start at partner. Once you get to a partner status, and then after that, you just start working and, and, and share your link. And next thing you know, you can start getting higher and higher up the levels here. And right now, Muscle, you're currently president. Well, yes, I am currently president. Thank you. Not, you know, so, yes, Muscle. And uh, you're so close to Sapphire right now, too. Yeah, and surprisingly. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised, by the way. 
Oh, and here, yep, there's more, Dora. Yeah, I'm also, oh my gosh, look, look at this. You can start, as you start ranking up, right, and you start building the team. Oh my gosh, it's so, I mean, it's, it could get so lucrative. Look at this. You can, all these different bonuses. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm getting so wet and juicy right now. I see these big numbers. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Dora. What happened there? I, I think I just wet my panties. All right. Uh, I'll see you later, then. Uh, scram. Man, whew. She cracks me up sometimes, you know. She, she gets so juicy every time. She sees big numbers. Anything big, all right. She looks down in my pants. She sees something. She gets, she gets so juicy wet, and she runs away, you know. It's like, whew. The same. But anyhow, you know, big numbers. Anything big. She gets so excited that she really juices her panties, man. And so uh, all I got to say is, Woo! <laughs> Stay dry, baby. I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you, muscle. <laughs> wow, she cracks me up, all right. All right, so uh, going back here to Vortec United. It's been a hell of a ride so far, and the ride just keeps getting bigger and better and better and better and better. And so um, going into the back office now. Let me see here. Uh, I'm going to go into the package, all right, because... Being that I'm the first in the space to introduce this to everybody, well, that means I'm the first in the space to fully cycle, a full cycle in Vortec United. And let me show you what I'm talking about right here. So as of, uh, looks like midnight, this plan is going to expire. All right. At the time of this video, I'm ahead of this time right now, but it's going to expire and... Here it is, the first in this space to fully uh, cycle a full plan in this platform. All right, the first. And I don't care what anybody says. And if Marcos claims that in his video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really shoot that video down <laughs> because his fake views that he does with his channel, fake views fake subs that he buys you know can't parlay and really uh demonstrate how he's any faster than i am in this space he's only fast at buying subs <laughs> because no one really watches his channel he has to buy the subs to do it he has to buy the views to do it because no one really watches it if he does marketing on the side somewhere to bring in people, okay, that's fine. I get it because he could bring in people and has the capability of doing so. But the jig is up, dude. You're buying subs, you're buying views, and no one really watches your shit because no one wants to sit and watch an hour and a half to two hours every time to watch some bullshit where you say, hey, guys, look, I have... Uh, here, let me Let me rephrase that. Hey, guys, look, I have, uh, I have Jensen on today as a guest. Uh, guest on my show to answer questions and yet you hold him down till the very end and he only can answer like two to three questions because he has to now run off to another meeting because you do like an hour and a half nearly two hours of bullshit when you should just do a and a straight up but no you just sit there you put him to the end yeah he only can answer like two or three questions and he has to take off so what kind of shit is that you know it's the, it's the some it's the same bullshit that Bacon Man does when he did that little Take Get a video that he named CMB. He sat there and says, oh yeah, come come to my Z CMB Zoom call today and uh, we'll take care of business. And then the first half of it was about Take Get a, a new platform that he introduced because he's all about money first and people second, right? That's what he says. Oh, no, no, he didn't say that. He said He said people first, money second, but he got it the other way around. How can that be? Oh, because he is a scumbag. Yeah. All right. That's true. Bacon Man is a scumbag. All right. And he has his bitch. He has bitches, actually. Because when you look at some of the bitches that he has, like Andy, Andy Nobody. He has, uh, what's his name? Walter Meyer. Remus. <laughs> Remus ass. All right. And all these guys that um, kiss his ass. All right. That's what's going to happen here. And uh, with all that, 
they could they could have all that. Whew. I mean, if he could do that, you know, that's that's all on him. But obviously, he he got he got Marcus hooked on that sauce because Marcus can't get enough of that bacon and sauce coming from Jensen or Jans. You know what? <laughs> all right, that's why he sucks that dick all day, all day long. Anyhow, let's get to it here. All right, this is gonna be a part two to uh, what's happening here, and uh, I'm you know close to the time I gotta hurry up and get this thing out because you know the timing is always of the essence and um, as you can see here I started up this new plan last week because I was in anticipation of this old plan expiring which is expiring later today so I wanted to overlap it and get a head start by starting this plan last week and get it going and I needed the $10,000 amount because in order to succeed and to jumping up the next rank, I'd have a $10,000 deposit. Well, I started with 5000 and that was about to expire, but I needed 10000 to move ahead and to move forward. So I deposited $10,000 last week, and that's why I was a two-edged sword. Um, because one is to move up rank, and two is to continue earning um, you know, off of Vortex United with their daily uh, plans and, and, and actions of, you know, profit making, courtesy of Jensen, and so that's why I put in ten thousand dollars. So now, with that, let's do a withdrawal now. All right. So that's what came about. Um, the bonus hit last week, but because I was already after the time, I could not make it happen uh, into, in terms of withdrawing the $20,000 but it did jump my status right away so that's what I did there uh, let me make sure I got this right 288 Bitcoin withdraw yep that's what I'm going to do there and um, let me see here um, 2FA I got to do 2FA And seven, two, three. All right, there we go. And then I gotta get the code in the email. Give me one second. And boom. There it is, all right. So we're gonna see if this will hit the wallet. <laughs> all right, that'd be great. So um, from there, that's a great uh, way to go. All right. So cool. I just want to say thank you, Jensen. Thank you, Vortech United, for everything. And um, from there, let's see here. It's currently present status. And next. All right, so this is what happened. All right. When I first uh, added in the $10,000 deposit, it instantly put me up to president status right and it was around 53 percent in progress I was like okay that's pretty cool and then looking today well I looked midweek and midweek it hit 67 then I looked at it today and it was 80 and I was like holy shit <laughs> this thing is moving up fast so looking ahead now as this gets closer to a hundred percent I got to look ahead once again because it's always about strategy, right? So the next status, you need at least twenty thousand dollars invested, and so uh, I would have to put another ten thousand in order to get fifty thousand. So, I mean, it's a good trade-off, right? So last week I put in ten thousand in order to get twenty thousand this week, okay? And then the next time I go in. Uh, as it gets closer to that 100%, uh, I got to put in another 10,000 because you need 20,000 total, and I already have 10,000 in. I just need to put another 10,000 to get 50. I was like, hmm, that's something. And then this one's going to take a while to get to because you're looking at another two million dollars here, and this one's going to take a really long time to get to. I mean. Three million. You got to add another seven million to get to this one. 
And then Diamond, $30 million. Holy shit, you know? That's crazy. But anyhow, um, just to even get this far, uh, all I got to say is pretty thankful for that. And so as it gets closer to 100%, like I said, another, I just got to add another 10K to get 50. Can't complain about that. So, uh, I mean, look at this week. I put in 10 last week, and there's 33 coming. So, that's what we got going on. Did that there. So, 80% right now. We're going to see what happens. We're going to monitor this. And so, I just want to say thank you for everything, uh, everybody, for your support. Thank you, Vortex United, for everything. Uh, especially Jensen. Shout out to you. And, uh, you know, these guys got to be careful who you're watching, all right, and who you are following, because these guys truly don't care about you, all right, because you have uh, Bacon Man over here. He's just a wannabe of everything. He's so full of shit, and the, the last thing he wants to do right now, for example, was to deal with the issues that Max Spread and CoinMarketBull was deal dealing with, and usually when they have issues, as you can see, he don't like dealing with issues. All right, so since he's a wannabe of everything, Vortex United got wind of that, and they said, all right, well, you're not going to be CMO for us. And so, and man, the dominoes just keep dropping, right? So, yeah, so what if he came, became CloudFi CEO? All right, CloudFi is in complete control of everything. He's just a face man that brought in people, all right, because he has a, 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 you know, a talent of bringing in people. That's fine. He's just not good at backing it up. So he's one of those uh, snake oil salesmen that sells you shit because he's a good talker. But man, he does not back that shit up when it comes to it. So I'm just saying. And then you have a uh, dirtbag over there. You know, he's, he's fucking clueless. And it sucks Jan's dick all day long that, you know, if he just stops lying all the time about shit in this space, maybe he'd be a better person to watch and listen to and all that. But because he just acts like he's naive, he acts like he's religious and all that with his little Friday, Saturday, how convenient off days geared towards religion, which I think and truly is full of shit. He could take his shit and shove it, him and or. All right. And so uh, how about this? Let's see here. Where's Queen, the real Queen Bee, right? So have you thought about it yet, right? Prayers won't help platforms. Isn't that right, Queen Bee? Well, I don't care about what you think. I will continue to pray for Cynthia and Novatek that they will come back and pay everybody because I believe that Novatek is going to be good. I believe that CMB is going to be very good. I believe that Max Spread is still going to be good. And I don't care what you say, I'm still going to pray. Wow. What a serious bitch. Alright. I think you're I think you're just taking it a little too seriously, alright, because you know, people like you <laughs> that thinks that prayers is gonna solve issues, it can. Just not in crypto. That's all I gotta say about that. And uh oh yeah, take a look at this. I haven't looked at the uh, let's see here. The reporting part here. I haven't done that in a while, so let's take a look here. So they talk about the trading feed here, wins and losses, all that stuff. All right, that's cool. Well, let's take a look at the Telegram. Let's find out what we got here. All right, what's been going on for the past week? Yeah, Jensen's a busy man himself, though, because um, when we look at what we got going on, let me roll this back a little bit. There we go. Uh, he's been doing weekly Q and A's, which is pretty cool to be doing a Q and A, um, you know, weekly here. So that's pretty cool that he's been doing that, getting himself out there and, uh, you know, answering questions in the community. So this is a true front man. All right. Not some bullshit, you know, uh, it's the people's fault for why platforms don't work and things like that. He takes care of business. So it's cool. And, uh, you know, he's always all about information sharing. He's uh, always a, a happy-go-lucky kind of guy. You know, in, you know, released a new brochure here, so that's cool. 
And then uh, this past week's results of trading here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 37 trades, 23 wins, 14 loss, 62%. That's still a winning week. One more for the good guys. And so with that, that's the latest in Vortec. All right. This is what we got going on. So, again, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Great week to cap off uh, today here, Vortec United. We'll check in again next time. And uh, other than that, comment down below. Links down below. This is the winning team right here. Not those dirt bags, not those scumbags. I'm talking about the crypto winning team is the Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. All right, so check it all out. Subscribe to everything I got. And I will see you in the next one.